Hello fans and friends across the universe. Welcome to my YouTube channel from me to you. My name's Keir Smith. For today's video, I'd like to remember John Lennon with a smile and some good humour. It's the 9th of December 2022 and it's now been 42 years since John Lennon was senselessly murdered. And it was in the early hours of the morning on the 9th of December 1980 that the shocking news came across from America to the UK. And so I just wanted to share a short video today with everyone who's remembering John and feeling that weight of sadness that this day inevitably brings. But as we all know and love, John had great humour and he could be wicked and cruel with it at times. And I can't help but think that John would probably crack a joke at the millions of us across the world who mourn his passing. In fact, I remember seeing an interview with George Harrison many years ago and he said that he'd spoke to John about someone who passed away and John sort of giddily said, aren't you glad it's not you? And I burst out laughing because it's so John and only he could say that and get away with it. You know, it's a bit naughty, but you can't help but shake your head and laugh. John had a unique sense of humour and a love of wordplay, puns and stories that he put across in a magic way in his songs. When I think of lyrics like fixing a hole in the ocean from the Beatles song Glass Onion and sitting on a cornflake from I Am The Walrus, they could only have come from John's mind. John's behaviour could often be wacky or zany, but his good humour is one of the traits that I cherish most about him. And through life, I've often found myself copying John's daft facial expressions and those sideways glances, often as a way of getting out of being a bit naughty. And my brother Liam often recites the way that John would apparently drop his granny glasses and peer over them and say, it's only me. He was so great. And as I'm remembering in particular John's humour today, I'd like to read for you one of John's funny poems from his brilliant book, in his own right. And the story is called Victor Triumphs Again and Mrs Weatherby Learns a Lesson. It were a small village, squirmy on the slug, and vile Ruperts spread fat and thick amongst the inhabitants that lived there. One victor of these gossipity tongues had oft been Victor Hardley, a harmless boot who never harmed nobody. A typical crimpty old hag who spread these vile Ruperts was Mrs Weatherby, a widow by her first husbands. Their holding a black mat down at Victor's pad was oft heard about the village, but I never heard it. Things like this were getting Victor down, if not lower. Why but why do they say these bad thing about me, when I have never harmed or speak bad, he would say, but I never heard him. He's drawing bad Christians on the graves, Mrs Weatherby would spread. The whole village was alarming. We can't have all this, said the vicar, who was a Christian. We'll have to set a trap and catch this foul fiend what desiccated our church. Once some forearm plans were made to prove who it were playing the Darrell with the church. On Thursday or Monday, a little group of 32 people, all dictionaries of the council and the parcel and the vicar, all hid noticeably amongst all the other dead things lying about. This will catch him, God willy, thought a man with Oxfam on his face. After eight hours or so, they all noticed that nothing had happened and they began to wonder why. After all, hadn't they had the information from a reliable saw? That was Victor Triumphs again and Mrs Weatherby learns a lesson. And if you indulge me further, well, you haven't got a choice, but I thought this was funny. On the back of the book, it says about the awful. I was bored on the 9th of October, 1940 when, I believe, the nasties were still booming us, led by Madolf Heatlump, who only had one. Anyway, they didn't get me. I attended two varicose schools in Liddypool and still didn't pass much to my auntie's supplies. As a member of the most publified Beatles, my and PG and R's, records might seem funnier to some of you than this book, but as far as I'm conceived, this correction of short Ritty is the most wonderful laugh I've ever ready. God help and breed you all. Wonderful wordplay, really funny and if you don't have it I do recommend John Lennon in his own right. 
So I'm remembering John today with a big smile, laughs and of course his brilliant music. Old Dirt Road from his excellent Walls and Bridges album came to mind first this morning so I enjoyed that. And I played Glass Onion from the Beatles White Album and I think later I'll kick back and enjoy Double Fantasy in its entirety because it's been a while. John Lennon, gone but never forgotten so please leave your thoughts, love and appreciation in the comments section below and let's celebrate John's genius together. And that's it. Thanks as always for watching. See you next time.